Optometry Basics. Learn Optometry in easy way. Hello all. Today I'll be talking about latent and manifest squint. So whatever we see, whatever squint we see basically is manifest squint. And whichever squint is hidden squint, that is called a latent squint. So basically squint or strabismus have come from the Greek word strabismus which means to look obliquely. So how does this happen? Suppose an object point is in front of my eyes, it in just in front of my eyes. So rays of light travelling from that object will fall on the retina of my left eye. Same way the rays of light will fall on my retina on the right eye. So if both this visual axis meet at a point then only we are going to have a binocular single vision that means a fused image we are going to see okay we are not going to see double image we are going to see fused image so strabismus basically has come from the word greek word strabismus that means look obliquely that means our one of the eye cannot fix it at the point that means the two visual axes is not meeting at the same point that is a strabismus now let me talk about latent or manifest strabismus okay so if there is misalignment of the visual axis this is also called a visual direction okay so if these two visual axes meet at a point we call it the eyes are having a common visual direction so if the eye is having a common visual direction we are going to have straight eyes normal eyes if the eyes are not having a common visual direction then that will be a strabismus or squint in case of latent squint what is happening there is a misalignment of the visual axis but what is happening it cannot align and meet at a point but what is happening our eye muscles are strong enough okay i our extraocular muscles are strong enough and can make some positive fusional vergence or fusional movements to make the eye straight so there is a misalignment of visual axis but with the good control of our eye muscles and with the help of our positive fusional vergence we can make the object into single object we can see the both uh, two images into a single one that means we can the two uh, visual direction is now it is common okay but in case of manifest queen what is happening we are trying my extraocular muscles are trying hard trying hard but they cannot maintain fusion okay so it is not meeting at the point this one of the eye is going out so that is the reason we we can see the squint okay we can see either so this is basically a manifest squint we can see either one eye is going out that is an exotropia or any of the eye is turning inward that is an esotropia so manifest strabismus means with all our extraocular muscles control if we cannot fight with the misalignment of visual axis then it will be manifest squint and if with my good extraocular muscles control if i can fight that misalignment of visual axis and make my eye straight basically okay so that is a latent squint or latent strabismus now let me tell tell you 90 percent of us are having latent strabismus that is very common if the amount of latent strabismus is more then we can get headaches okay we can get eye aches we can get asthenopic symptoms okay but those can be controlled with the uh, uh, following all the correct measures of managing non strabismic binocular vision strabis, uh, vision disorders okay for, so for manifest squint also there is treatment with uh, like vision therapy but if it is a paralytic squint or a one eyed squint then it is a little difficult so thank you all of you hope you have understood the concept of latent and manifest strabismus thank you all